In this video, we're going to look at solving a system of linear equations in two variables by a method called substitution. When you have one of the variables isolated in one of the equations, that is a good time to use substitution. In the second equation, you're just going to substitute whatever that first one is equal to. So x is equal to 3y minus 4. I'm going to replace the x in the second equation by 3y minus 4. Keep everything else. We'll need to use parentheses. And then we solve. So distribute your 2 gives us 6y minus 8 plus y equals 3. Put your y terms together, 7y minus 8 equals 3. Add your 8 to both sides. So 7y equals 11 and divide by 7. So we get y equals 11 over 7. That is the y coordinate. You have to substitute back into one of the equations to solve for x. So I'm going to substitute into the first equation. So I'm going to plug this value back in as the y. x equals 3 times 11 over 7 minus 4. We have to multiply the 3 times 11 over 7, so that's 3 over 1. Nothing cancels for us, so we have 33 over 7 minus 4. Uh, we're going to have to do some fraction work here to combine those. We need a common denominator. Right now we have 4 over 1. So our common denominator will be 7. So we need to multiply the second fraction by 7 over 7. So we have 33 over 7 minus 28 over 7 equals 5 over 7. So our solution, this is the x coordinate. 5 over 7, and our y coordinate we had found first, 11 over 7. So 5 sevenths and 11 sevenths. For our next problem that we're going to solve by substitution, the y is isolated in the first equation. So we're going to plug this 3x minus 1 into the y for the second equation. So we'll keep our 2x plus 3, we'll use parentheses, Substitute our 3x minus 1 for that y equals 19. Now we have a linear equation with one variable. So we'll solve, uh, simplify first. So keep your 2x plus, this will give us 9x minus 3 equals 19. Put your x terms together, so we have 11x minus 3 equals 19. Add your 3 to both sides. So 11x equals 22 and divide by 11. So x equals 2. That's step 1. Now you're going to take the 2 and plug it back in to that equation. So we have y equals 3 times 2 minus 1, 6 minus 1 equals 5. So our solution is 2, 5. For our next system, we do not have a variable isolated, but we're told to solve by substitution. So we will need to isolate a variable in one of the equations. It could be in either one. I chose to isolate the x. If I subtract 3y, so I have x equals negative 3y. Now I have a variable isolated. I will substitute for that x in the first equation. So I have 2 times negative 3y minus y equals negative 7. This will give me negative 6y minus y equals negative 7. Negative 7y equals negative 7. Divide by your negative 7, and you get y equals positive 1. 
So we need to plug that back in. I'm going to plug it into this one. So I have x equals negative 3 times 1 gives me negative 3. So my solution is negative 3, 1. For the next problem, we will need to isolate a variable to solve it by substitution. So I'm going to choose to isolate the y in the second equation, which means I need to subtract 2x. So I'm going to keep my y, subtract 2x, minus 3. Now I will substitute this into the first equation. So I have 6x plus 3 times negative 2x minus 3 equals 14. So 6x minus 6x minus 9 equals 14. Uh, notice what happens to your x terms here. They cancel out. Negative 9 equals 14. You have a false statement. There's not going to be a solution. This one is no solution. To solve this system of equations by substitution, we will have to isolate a variable. So in the second equation, I will isolate the y. It means I need to subtract the 4x. So y equals negative 2 minus 4x. Substitute that expression into the first equation for the y. 3x minus 2 times negative 2 minus 4x equals 8. Distribute. So we have 3x plus 4 plus 8x equals 8. Like terms together, 11x plus 4 equals 8. Subtract your 4. So we get 11x equals 4. Divide by 11. So we get x equals 4 elevenths. We need to plug that back in. So I'm going to plug it in this equation. So y equals negative 2 minus 4 times 4 elevenths and this gives me negative 2 minus 16 elevenths. We will need a common denominator so 11 will work. If we multiply top and bottom by 11 we will get negative 22 over 11 minus 16 over 11 Keep that denominator and combine the numerators to give us negative 38 over 11. Uh, so our solution is 4 elevenths and negative 38 over 11.